How's it going today YouTube and welcome back to Shaner's Mechanic Life. Have you ever been working on your Chevy with a Vortec, changing the distributor cap, whether you're putting it on or taking it off, and you go to loosen or tighten the screws only to find out that the screws are stripped, or even worse yet, the ears on the distributor are broken right off. So now you think your tune-up just turned into a new distributor. Well, that's wrong. In this video, I'm going to show you a product that will fix that problem, whether it's the stripped screws or stripped, stripped housing or even the broken ears. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here we go. Now, these screws are prone to stripping in the housing, or like I said earlier, even ears to break off. You know, you don't have a whole lot of material there. So if you over tighten it or cross thread it, those threads are gone. Now some of these distributors are even made out of a plastic material, which makes stripping out way more likely. So the minute you strip that or break the ear off, you're thinking, oh great, now I gotta buy a whole new distributor. Let me show you what I found at it can save the cost of a new distributor. It's a product made by Dorman. It's a distributor support plate for the Vortec distributors. Part number 90. 449. I'll leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description of this video if you're interested. Now, how does that work, you may ask? Well, let me show you. Now, you don't have to take it your Subaru out to do this. I just figured I might. Just makes the video a little bit easier to see. So, this plate goes on the bottom of your distributor. You can see you line it up right up against the dowel here, the body there and your hold down bolts or screws for your distributor cap line up there. So even if that ear is broken, the screw will go through the cap right into this plate, holding everything securely in place. That way your timing's still right on. Now the kit comes with a short screw and a long screw. As you can see, the short screw go here and the long screw go there. Now I recommend before you put this on, run the screws through the holes, clear out the powder coating, make sure your threads are cut. Just makes the install that much easier. So once you get your rotor on, put your cap on, get your support plate, and it comes with this little handy, basically, tab to hold on to. And you reach below line it up and I would usually start my first screw that way it holds it in place then you can go to the back start your other screw and snug it down so I'll get this distributor back in the truck and I'll put the support bracket in and tighten everything down and show you how it looks well, a little tip with well, these distributors whenever I have the cap and rotor off see these round holes there and there well, those are vents. So that way, if you get any moisture in your cap, the airflow from everything turning inside will help dry everything out. So what I usually do is I put the short screw in the front, grab your support bracket, and just reach down in there until you can line it up. You can feel it kind of butt up into place. And then you get a small screwdriver, you start this front screw, so that way your support bracket's being held and you can go ahead and start your back screw. Yeah, you got the front screw just started. So now you can still move it just a little bit to make the back screw line up. Now once you get them both snug down, your cap is nice and secure. You can go ahead, plug your wire set in. But uh, make sure before you go pulling your cap off, always mark your wires number them any which way you want take pictures that way you don't forget what way they went on and it's just a lot easier to fire it up to have it run nice and smooth rather than having backfiring and to have to double check all your firing orders now one of the bad things about chevys is the distributors at the back it makes access a little bit more difficult so whenever you're working back here watch you don't lean on your heater hoses too much end up breaking your heater core or even any evap lines 
and watch a stud here coming through the firewall. You don't want to leave any DNA on that. So just take your time, don't force anything, and you should be fine. And when you put your spark plug wires on, make sure you get them on and they're pushed fully up to the cap. Now this is basically what it looks like from underneath. You can see this ear is broken right off. Here's your cap and the screw comes through. Anchors here, anchors there, and also on the back screw. Now if you work on these Vortec engines, I, I definitely keep one of these in your toolboxes. Whether it's your car or someone else's. Because uh, it never fails. Oh, that's just a cap and rotor, I'll knock it out and then, uh, you know, I'll be good to go, ready to drive to work tomorrow. Or a customer comes in, last thing, and you're, you're left scrambling. Parts places are closed, you pull this out, save the customer a lot of money, save yourself a lot of hassle. Well, I hope you found this video helpful entertaining and informative and I hope by watching this it definitely helps someone get out of a pinch with the stripped screws or broken ears and I hope it even helps someone save the cost of a new distributor. Let me know what you think in the comments section. If you like the video hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this hit the subscribe button and notification bell in the bottom right hand corner. That way you get notified when you get new videos coming out. Well that's it for tonight everybody. Have a good night and keep wrenching.